Let's do sum number 5 now. Length of diagonals of a rhombus ABCD are 16 centimeters and 12 centimeters. Find the side and perimeter of the rhombus. Okay, so let's draw the rhombus first. Okay, this is your rhombus. The diagonals are given now. This is 16 and this is 12 centimeters. Okay. This is 16 and this is 12 centimeters. So they want sides. Fine. Uh, this is A, B, C, D. They want sides and they want the perimeter. Once you get one side, you can get the perimeter because all the sides are equal. You just have to multiply it with 4. Okay. So the first thing is to get the side. So now see here, the diagonals, they bisect each other. So this is 90 degree. Okay. If this is 90 degree, we can use uh, Pythagoras theorem and find out this because this becomes a hypotenuse. In order to find out this, you need to know this and this. So what happens is the diagonals bisect each other. The, this whole thing is 16. So this is going to be 8. This whole thing is 12. So this is going to be 6. So this is going to be 8. This is going to be 6. We have to find out the third side that is the hypotenuse. Let's do. See, AC is 16. Let, let's label the center point as O. Okay, AC is 16. A will be 8. And start. AC is equal to 16 centimeters. Therefore, length AO is equal to half of AC Y diagonals of a rhombus bisect each other. So, is equal to half of 16, 2 ones are, 2 eights are, is equal to 8 centimeters. Therefore, AC is, sorry, AO is 8 centimeters. Length BO. BO is half of B B, Y, same thing, diagonals of a rhombus bisect each other is half of 12, 2 ones are 2 six are is equal to 6 centimeters, therefore B O is 6 centimeters, fine, we got 8 centimeters, we got 6 centimeters. Now take AOB. In triangle AOB, according to Pythagoras theorem, AB square is equal to AO square plus BO square is equal to 8 square plus 6 square. 8 square is 64, 6 square is 36, 36 plus 64 is 100. So, AB square is 100. Length of AB is going to be root 100. That is 10 centimeters. AB is 10 centimeters. Means this is 10. Therefore, side of rhombus is 10 centimeters right side we got now we need perimeter perimeter of rhombus will be side multiplied by 4 because all the sides are equal that is 10 multiplied by 4 is equal to 40 centimeters side is 10 and <coughs> the perimeter is 40 centimeters sum number 6 we will do now Find the length of diagonal of a square if side is 8 centimeters. So, a square will be like this. You have to find the diagonal if side is 8. If side is 8, it's a square, means all the sides are going to be 8. Fine? This is going to be 90. All 90 degree. This is 8, this is 8. You have to find the diagonal. Diagonal is basically the hypotenuse because this is 90 degree. So, according to 
you have to find out the hypotenuse according to Pythagoras theorem hypotenuse square is equal to side 1 square plus side 2 square our side 1 is also 8 and our side 2 is also 8. So 8 means 64 plus 64 is equal to 4 plus 1, 28. So hypotenuse square is 128. So hypotenuse is root of 128. Uh, root of 128, uh, it's not a perfect square so just leave it there 128 root 128 centimeter that's your sum number six now the last sum sum number seven find uh, see the sum now the last sum sum number seven measure of one angle of a rhombus is 50 degree find the measure of the remaining three angles you remember we did a construction based like that and uh, based on the sum the fourth sum see fourth sum also we use the same formula now, this is a rhombus, this is 50 degree, you have to find the remaining 3. In a rhombus, remember opposite angles are equal, congruent. So This is 50, this is going to be 50, fine. If I say this is x, this is going to be x. All the measures together, they are 360 degree. So, you have to find out the value of, value of x. Let's label this as a, b, c, d. According solution. Uh, measure angle B is 50 degree. Me therefore, measure angle D will also be 50 degree. Why? Opposite angles of a rhombus are congruent. Let Measure angle C B X, therefore, measure angle A also is X. Why? Opposite angles of rhombus are congruent. Done? Now, all the angles measure angle A plus measure angle B plus measure angle C, plus measure angle D, together make 360 degree. Why? Because all the angles of a quadrilateral together measure 360 degree. So, A is how much? X. B is how much? 50. C, X. D, 50 is equal to 360 degree. 50, 50, 100, X plus X, 2X. So, 2X plus 100 is equal to 360 degree. Now this plus 100 goes on the other side. So 2x is equal to 360 minus 100. 2x is equal to 260. So x is equal to 260 divided by 2 because this is multiplied it comes down. 2 1s are 2 1s are 2 3s are 2 zeros are x is 130 degree. So what they were saying? Find the measures of remaining three angles. So the measures of the remaining three angles are 50 degree, 130 degree and 130 degree.